previously on Hogwarts Legacy Cassandra story. Have you seen this? Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. I was right. Ranrock. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Fig, nice of you to join us. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Better be Hufflepuff! And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. And here we are. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, Officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Repairer. One last thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the Three Broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess, and a powerful witch. Good one to know. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. 
It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Sirona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, 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 timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophanes. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Rookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on. And I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow, like the dragon collar. Goblin Silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me. And he would have, had Serona and the patrons of the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library. The restricted section, to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit, before we continue. But sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. 
Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds versatile. Yes. I'm sorry to say, I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hecate. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig, but it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative. Precisely. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean, I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. I'll be quieter than a jobber knob. Blast. The librarian's still here. Quick, behind the bookcase. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? Goodness gracious. What a mess. That wasn't so difficult after all. Now, to find that book. Should be in the clear. No need for us to be skulking about. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, 
so that she can return to Hogwarts. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think you'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. Who have we here? Sebastian Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you... I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell. <laughs> oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Repair it. Lumos. Of course. Traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. That's it. Not surprising. Guards at the ready. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. 
Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I have never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganock. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sebastian! Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox. It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? In the second, they were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic, too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? 
I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the Ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A portkey brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning. But I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right. But how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. I beg your pardon! How dare you threaten me! What's going on here? I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stay with me! <laughs> 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 Oh, what's the light go out of your eyes? <laughs>